Hi, my dear friends. Welcome to Royal Logos. I hope that you all are doing well, and it's great to have you here. In this tutorial, we will draw a logo design for a butterfly breeder association named as Just Fly. So let's start with the tutorial. First of all, we will set the document properties. So go to File, select the document properties, and select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Now change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now select the zoom to fit to page. Now select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this. Now increase the height of the line to 550 pixels and increase its stroke width by going into fill and stroke menu, selecting stroke style, changing the units to pixels and changing the width to 3 pixels. Now it looks better. Now select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line while holding down the control key like this. Now decrease the width of the line to 160 pixels and increase its stroke width to 3 pixels and place the line at this point. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and place it at this end. Now again select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line like this. Change the width of the line to 60 pixels and increase its stroke width to 3 pixels like this and place this line at this end. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and rotate it to 90 degrees like this. Now select all of these three lines, go to path and select combine. Now right click, duplicate it and drag it. To this end. Now select the smaller line, right click, duplicate it and rotate it to 90 degrees and drag it vertically while holding down the control key up to this point like this. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle from this point to this point. So first of all from the snap tool turn on the snap to paths like this and snap to quadrants like this and drag a circle while holding down the control key from this end to this end like this now select this circle right click duplicate it and place it at this point now decrease the dimensions of the circle while holding down the control key up to this point now again select this circle right click duplicate it and now we have to decrease the dimensions of the circle so first of all log these proportions and decrease the dimensions of the circle to 230 pixels like this and place it at this point so we want to place it now select zoom we want to place it at this intersection point so we will turn on the intersection snap and drag the circle to this point like this now again select zoom to fit to page now we are almost done with our logo so select all of these objects go to path and select combine now select a rectangle and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this give it some solid color like this light red color and place this rectangle below our main object like this now select both of the objects go to path and select division now you can delete the unwanted parts by clicking the part like this and pressing the delete key on the keyboard like this Now this is the part of our logo, we will increase its dimensions while holding down the control key like this. Now select these two parts, go to path and select union. Now select this middle part, right click and duplicate it. Again select it with this lower selection, go to path and select union. Now we have duplicated this so there are two parts, again select this one and this one Again go to path and select union like this. Remember that we only need the fill and doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by, by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this. Now we will give it some colors with the background 
so first of all we will draw a background select the rectangle tool and draw a background with this to this point give it this black color and place it at lower selection like this now we want it's time to give our logo some colors which i have already decided you can easily see the colors from the color codes now select this object and select this gradient tool and draw a gradient from this end to this end now select this end of the gradient and click on this plus stop button like this now select the dropper and for this end we will select this color you can easily see the colors from the color codes and for this middle point we will select this one and for this end point we will select this one now select the lower object again select the gradient tool and draw a gradient from this point to this point now again select this selection and press on this insert new stop now select the dropper and for this point we will select this color for the middle point we will select this one and for this one we will select this color now drag this point to little lower like this now we are almost done now select both of these parts right click and group them now again right click duplicate it and flip it vertically like this and drag it horizontally while holding down the control key up to this point like this i think it's better now this is our final logo which we have drawn for the butterfly breeder association now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel also share your thoughts about the design that whether you like it or not or how this design can be improved thanks for watching and have a nice day